Once upon a whimsical night in the fantastical world of Seussville, where the moon wore a polka dot bow tie and the stars danced a jazzy tune, there was a peculiar event unfolding. It all started with the tale of Dr. Seuss's sleep book. In the heart of Seussville, there was a cozy little cottage where Dr. Seuss himself resided. This wasn't just any ordinary night. It was the grand sleep celebration. All the inhabitants of Seussville were gathering for the most extraordinary slumber ever. As the moon ascended, Dr. Seuss emerged with his sleep o -matic contraption, a fantastical device that measured and orchestrated the most splendid dreams. The townsfolk, from the zizzer zazzer zuz to the fiffer feffer feff, eagerly lined up to participate in this one-of-a-kind slumber fest. Dr. Seuss, with his magical pen, began to weave enchanting tales of bedtime adventures. The bedbugs turned into bedtime bugs, escorting everyone to the land of Nod, where pillows grew on trees and the rivers flowed with warm cocoa. In the midst of this dreamy adventure, a yawn started to spread like wildfire. It began with the snorter McPhail, a creature who snored so loud that it echoed through the sleepy seas and the drowsy dells. Soon, the whole town was caught in a contagious yawn, and the sleep o -matic started buzzing with excitement. The sleep o -matic's fantastical gears and cogs whirred, creating a symphony of snuggles and snores. Dr. Seuss's pen danced across the pages of the sleep book, describing the magical dreams that embraced each and every sleepy citizen. From the cozy nests of the yawning yaks to the treetop perches of the sleepwalking snakes, Seussville was a spectacle of serene slumber. Dr. Seuss, with a mischievous twinkle in his eye, added a touch of whimsy to each dream, turning ordinary sleep into an extraordinary adventure. As the night unfolded, the citizens of Seussville snuggled into their dreamland, guided by the fantastical tales of the sleep book. The moon smiled down, the stars winked knowingly, and Dr. Seuss, satisfied with his storytelling magic, tiptoed back to his cottage, leaving Seussville to bask in the sweet embrace of dreams. And so, in the magical realm of Seussville, where reality and imagination danced hand in hand, the grand sleep celebration became a cherished memory for all. The sleep o -matic hummed its lullaby, and Seussville drifted into a peaceful slumber. Wrapped in the enchanting tales spun by the greatest storyteller of all time,